Hello, fabulous doll people. My doll is here. This is a doll I did not think that I would ever get. Um, it, you know, you have that doll that you see on Facebook or Instagram, and every time you see it, you stop because you like it. Um, she came up for sale in August. August was a ruinous month for me. I was doing really well, and then three secondhand dolls came up for sale that were not on my budget or my radar, but were not something I could pass up. And this was one of them. Um, and I have no regrets. <laughs> so I went through kind of a weird UPS saga with her, which I'll talk about in a different video. But she's finally here today. She came from Spain. Um, I bought her from a wonderful seller, Susanna, who packaged her amazing. Like this box looks like it came from up the street. Uh, this doll is painted by an artist I love, and I didn't think I would ever get anything by him. Um, and the seller really wanted the doll to go to somebody who would keep uh, the face up, which I definitely will. Um, she is partially unstrung, so I don't know if I'll get her all together in this video because I'm not good at stringing dolls. Um, so, I'm going to turn the fan off really quick. Because I don't feel like my audio is good, so. So, she tapes her up really good. She wanted to make sure that she didn't hit any problems. She paid extra for the shipping, more than what I paid to her. Um, which is kind of funny, given the comedy of stupid that we went through with UPS to get her here. But, I mean, she arrived safe and sound, so I mean, what am I... What am I complaining about? And they had her slated to get here last Thursday, and today's Monday. So, um, and one thing I will say about UPS is I was able to call them, which, you know, you're not going to be able to do that. Nine times out of ten with the post office when you call, you're not really getting anybody, or you're getting somebody who has, like, no idea what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, so I'm going to open her up. A weird box. I mean, it's so cute. It's got weird little spots where it's like open and glass. And she like tape, completely taped it. I think in case it wound up in the weather, um, which it almost did. So that was like almost psychic on her part. It's interesting that the box is really clearly made to protect whatever's in it. There we go. Not always super box savvy. So sometimes I struggle. She was one of my late, well, I guess it was really early in the morning finds. Um, I was up early a lot before my trip because I had to make up my time. I don't save PTO, I use it. So when I go on vacation, I never have enough. So I always have to work extra. Um, so when I went to go visit my mom in August, I had to be to work really early, which is, I think, how I wound up in the hole with my dogs. I have now since learned if you want to find a bunch of things that you never thought you were going to find for sale, get up real early. A lot of it's because it was almost all, all of it was, was foreign. So it kind of compensates for the time. And I saw her for sale and I thought that can't be right. It must be the eyes or the beard or whatever she was wearing. But it was her. And uh, I said, like, you can't. Can't afford another doll, but I was like, there's no way, no way I'm not going to at least try. And she was a really good price, and um, so I asked her if she would do layaway, which I didn't figure she would, because honestly, I thought she would just get, like, snatched right up, and um, 
she had so many people after the doll that she wouldn't even consider layaway. But she really wanted her to go with somebody who wanted to keep the face up, which I did. Um, and I kind of forget sometimes that my aesthetic is pretty narrow and that I think it, like, I think everybody's after it and that it probably makes the audience smaller or the, I don't know, the interested group of people smaller. So I lucked out and got her. The seller was very sweet. Um, very concerned about the doll, which I thought was really sweet. She is. So the actual base doll, a little money, yes. <laughs> she wrapped her so well. Um, I wasn't really familiar with. It's a pretty doll, but um, so I thought Limois went under, and I guess they became Limois EOS. I thought they were like, I thought it was a hybrid, so she said it was a, she had her listed as Limois EOS, and I thought that meant the head was a Limois, and the body was EOS or something. Um, I was familiar with Limois from when they first came out. I had wanted at one time their uh, half ounce in the French resin, um, but then she kind of wasn't fantasy enough for me as time went on, and there were more options. And I never, I never got one. So, and I had thought that they had just disappeared. Um, and baby, don't come up here. Don't come up here. And, uh, so anyway. So she's a Limois EOS Nina. And what makes her so particularly dear to me is she has a beautiful face up and tattoo work by Sark. Uh, who I am a huge fan of. I'm very careful to cut her bubble wrap here. Let's cut her. Um, and she's painted in the Sugar Skull style, which is one of my favorite things. <laughs> in fact, my living room is has a bunch of Sugar Skull artwork in it. Um, and I have a, another Sugar Skull girl. In fact, this is the only other Sugar Skull doll on the internet that I thought was good or possibly better than mine. Um, which is kind of a duh, because you know she's my doll and I designed her so obviously. I think she's the best one. But this girl I love. Uh, every time there were pictures of her, I would stop and look at them and I love her style. I'm a huge, huge fan of Sark, so I'm very fangirly about her. And her COA is taped on here, but I'm not even going to attempt to free that right now. And she said she's, like her lower legs are probably in here somewhere because she said that she took them off. I don't, I don't remember why. Um, and I may not, I may not mess with them right now. I had one that I had to partially string, and it went okay, but I, I don't think I would have filmed that because it was pretty sad. As long as I do the hot, I think I, I've never fully strung it all. I don't want to. There are people out there that will do it for you if you don't want to. Pandora, don't come up here. Pandora. See all those years, those three whole years on the Walmart overnight crew using a box cutter. Let's see if we can get something. I'm gonna go 
little bit of surgical box cutter precision. the most beautiful part, so we want to be like, really careful. I think that was the piece. No, 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 no. Yep, yeah, there we go. Maybe. There's a lot of tape on this baby. Okay, because the tape on the bubble wrap, once you find that one glue that binds the universe, then you can get that one cut. It just kind of falls apart. There we go. Feels like that Twilight Zone episode when the ladies in the bandages. I just, I have the beholder. <laughs> Pandora, if you jump up here, don't, don't do it till you think you're Layers and layers. There we go. It doesn't want to be the usual kind of once you get to a spot or sort of like I just can't. a thousand times more beautiful in person. Wow. Oh, God. Wow. Like, I don't understand how he gets this level. Like, it's, it's amazing. I don't know, it's like magic almost. Wow. Okay. Packed her so you can tell how how concerned she was. She packed her so carefully. She is a mummy. Stop doing stuff and stare at that face up. More tape here, okay. Wow. And it's a pretty doll. I had really not heard of it. Um, it's funny because I saw a whole bunch after I bought her for sale. Of course, they weren't painted, but you know, I didn't really know anything about them. It's a very nice body, um, which is one thing I always liked about the Limois dolls, is I thought the bodies were pretty, they had really pretty hands. Hands are like a big deal to me. Maybe I keep thinking I find, I'm finding like the, that end piece of tape, but once you get that one, the rest of them will go, but then it's, it's not. Well, maybe.
detail is just stunning. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. No, no picture I've ever seen has ever done like a tenth of the justice to this this work. I, I don't know how he did that. Okay, I'm gonna try to get like really close up pictures so you guys can see it. If I can ever get her get her out of this. If I get her out, you can see it. Okay, I think I I'm getting I think I'm getting into figure out the the method to the tape madness. Very nervous getting around the face though. There we go. I'm gonna have um, <clears throat> Doll Theater do her wig. She did the wig for my other day of the dead girl. And uh, I wanted to, she was like, oh, message me and we can get started on it. Even like, I really don't wanna do it until the end of December because I am still work. Um, I had wanted to see her first. It's like heart stoppingly beautiful. Holy moly. Yeah, baby, you can't come up here, baby. Yeah, you, you want a piece of this? Yeah. You want to get another piece of that? Is that what that? Okay. I'm taking it from you in a minute, but you can have it for right now. There we go. Yeah. Well, she's got a uh, really detailed tattoo on her arm, so that's the next part of her body I want to be super careful with. I think it's this arm, but she's so bubble taped I can't 100% tell. <clears throat> and there'll be doll, doll nudity because I don't know how to edit, so if that makes you uncomfortable. If this doesn't time out on me, which it could, because this is taking forever. If it does, I'm just gonna like two part it uh, awkwardly the way I have to two part my videos. Okay. Oh, I should put tape over it. That's not smart. So that's one of my concerns: is that her outfit not rub this tattoo? I wanted to get. A custom uh, Ayuana outfit to match the one that I have on my other girl, but they're still not doing um, commission work. So she did say if they decided to, they would let me know. So if if they don't open up when I'm ready to buy her an outfit, I'll probably see what FLA Creations can do match the other dress because I want them to I mean they're not gonna match obviously but I mean um, I want them to look good together tension A lot of plastic, huh? You have to stay out. You have to stay there, baby. No, Pandora said no. You have to wait. You can have the box. You can have the whole box in a minute. I'll give you the whole box. Very sweaty. on this too. Ugh, you don't want to put it on anything. Or is it just tissue? So this is just hair and stuff. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. So, I don't know how he got these colors. It's amazing. Okay. That's amazing. I'm just going to put this 
back of this one out. You guys are so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I had hoped to send a doll to him, but every time he has an opening, I don't have any dolls. Um, he also picks and chooses, but I have kind of a lot of dolls that um, I think might interest him. Like I, I have, I buy a lot of sculpts that he seems to like. So, oh man. Done by him. This doll's amazing. You know, like I keep looking at it going, I don't know how this is possible. He's got these really sparkly. This amazingly sparkly like inks in there. And then these tiny little like gems on the hand. Maybe what I'll do in the uh, interest of time, because I don't think she has any more tattoo work. So I'll show you guys the tattoos. And then maybe I'll just do another video down the road. Um, her with like some kind of outfit on. if I can get any, any gems to put all on this or not, because as usual, the lighting is not real good. So here is the arm tattoo. The eye on the raven is red and sparkly. Here's the hand. And the face. Which actually, I'm getting a pretty good, getting pretty good light put in the face. Let's see, let's see. Okay, keep doing that. Any human and all these little red, like the little scrolling, it's a gl beautiful glittery. Her eyeliner is red and it's glittery. You can you can catch it there. Oh Suzanne, I can't I can't thank you enough, Suzanne. I I have never been as struck with a doll. Uh, since my Pasha Pasha. And look at her. It was just perfect. Oh, she was perfect. Wow. Oh. Yeah, totally, totally worth being broke over. So, I have no regrets. I have no doll regrets. Um, I love her. I love her. Thank you so much. I am so in love with her. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'll probably do another video. Um, I'll put her in some. I have a. I have several Ayuana dresses that I bought with no doll in mind because I have a real small problem with their clothing. Anyway, and then I'll, I'll do another video later. And I'll, I'll tell you guys the UPS story then, probably. So, thanks for watching. Thank you, Susanna, so much for letting me buy her. I just, I love her so much. I might, I think I'm just going to carry her around for the rest of the evening. Oh, I missed it. I can't get it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks.